Jesus walked into that mass of humanity, every one of which needed his touch. And he came to you. Because Jesus is personal. And he sees you there. And he makes his way to you. And the question that he asks you is the exact same question that he asked this invalid man at the pool of Bethesda. And so he asks us what he asked this man in verse 6. Do you really want to get well? Do you really actually want to be healed? What if the answer, if Jesus asks us, do you want to be made well? What if he looks in our hearts and, and he sees our hearts say, uh, not really. I wouldn't know what to do. This is who I am. These chains that bind me are what I do. They're how I live. And if he looks into your heart and sees that, he will say, okay. You really want to be made well? Or are you protecting that lingering disorder that's causing damage and destruction in your life? First step to Jesus making you well is on the wall behind. The first step is an honest answer at the deepest level of your heart to this question. Do you really want to be made well? Are you ready for Jesus to heal this dysfunction, this affliction, this destruction caused by sin? Are you ready for him to heal it? Really? at the deepest place of your heart. Honestly, you must honestly want to be made well. Not protecting your sin, not nursing it, not hiding it, not saying what you know you should, but genuinely, honestly want to be healed. Step two, you must honestly believe you cannot do it your way. You don't have the strength in you to do it. Step three is the same victory from cover to cover in the Bible it is absolute faith and absolute obedience. For every single one of us that is, is how do I, why do I say struggling with, overcoming something in our lives, we need to understand this. The moment we put our total faith in Christ, he will give us the gift of faith. The moment we exercise our faith, he will give us faith. We make the decision. He brings the power. Don't ever say, well, I'm trying, but you know, I need God to do this or this or this for me. It doesn't work that way. You choose first. God provides the power. Second, the moment you put your faith in Christ, he will give you the faith to put in him. The moment you fully obey Christ, he will give you the power to fully obey. You choose first. He follows it up with the power of the Holy Spirit. We have the will. We have the choice. He brings the power. 